Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for that, Kurt. It's uh, Stranger Danger, and there's uh, three seminars that are actually going to be hosted uh, this weekend on Saturday from 10 to 11 at the Ottawa Academy of Martial Arts. Really interesting concept behind this. Uh, joining us, uh, their manager, Adnick Castiglia. Always great to have you on the show. You brought with you uh, also one of your instructors, Matt Hache. Great to see you. you. And we've got uh, a Brazilian Ontario, uh, the Ontario Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, Children's Champion. Uh, this is Hannah Goldstein. So great to have you here. She's going to be uh, our amazing demonstrator. I've seen what she's been able to do. It's remarkable. We'll come to you first for the stats and the idea behind you guys wanting to have a seminar like this. I think a, a lot of people don't want to think about it and, you know, I don't blame them. You know, they say that a child in North America is abducted every 40 seconds, abducted or reported missing. Now that's like a, that's a devastating statistic. So we've created this seminar, and we've been doing it actually for several years now, and the purpose is to help educate the children and their parents together on prevention, on how to stop these things from happening, to make them more aware of their surroundings, and also, God forbid, if they fell into a situation like this, what can they do to slow down the person who's trying to abduct them? Uh, this is something that you want both the children and the parent to be present at because it's really it's something that they'll learn and then you want them to practice. Yes, we, we ask that they both come because we have a, you know, like a coaching session with the parents, teach them on how to coach the children, you know, with positive reinforcement and how to bring the knowledge home because when you see it, a lot of it's just like, it just looks like playing. But really what they're learning to do is to slow somebody down who's trying to take them away. Time is, uh, time is crucial. Uh, and, that's, and that's it with that. Matt, you were able to kind of demonstrate what's going to be happening, what the, what the perpetrator might be looking to do yeah. uh, <coughs> as we're going to demonstrate with Hannah. That's right. Okay, so what do you want people to know as they're kind of approaching in? Well, first we want to try to equip the children with as much knowledge as possible. Simple things like always telling their parents where they are, where they're going to be, uh, where they're going and just teaching the children first how to communicate properly you know not to be fooling around with their parents when they're out and about not playing games like hide and go seek just <laughs> hide and go seek at the mall is not fun yeah not a good idea but uh, first things first I mean it's real simple children shouldn't be talking to strangers at all you know if adults are asking them for help or offering candy or things like oh can you help me find my dog <clears throat> it's really simple the children just if they don't know that person they shouldn't be talking to them but if it comes to a situation where uh, a stranger is trying to approach them and is now trying to pick them up, we're teaching the children some really basic skills on how to help them. Because they'll try to either, there's different ways where they're going to try to be able to pick up the child, right? So you'll run through different scenarios? Yeah. Like, okay. <clears throat> like for instance, a real okay. uh, basic uh, concept would be if I came up from behind to try to carry Hannah, she'd hook onto my leg, try to pull herself down. Now ties herself up around my ankles. As an attacker, now I'm starting to panic. I'm looking around. People are seeing me. Now Hannah's gaining more and more time as the attacker, and now I'm starting to panic. I can't pick her up off me. People are looking at me. Now I'm starting to get scared. This is a stance right here that doesn't allow the child's not going to be able to move. You can't actually just pick her up and, and no. put her into a vehicle or anything. I mean, me trying to pick her up. I mean, there's no way I'm getting her off my ankles, and I'm not putting her in a car. If I'm at a mall or in a park, now people are looking at me. If Hannah's starting to scream, scream stranger, stranger, now I'm panicking. Now I, I, got, to try to, I got to try to get away. I'm, trying to, I'm actually trying to escape so I can run. You know, and, and now we'll hopefully give her a chance. Can you show that to us again, Hannah? I saw you, I saw you do that, and it, you did it really fast. And, and so where she was pointing, we'll see it one more time if you can. Yeah. Uh, so the, the idea of what we're teaching the children is to dip. So Hannah's leaning forward. Now she's gripping, and then the idea is to spin, creating uh, chaos and madness. And I'm trying to control the situation. I'm looking for a victim. Now she's no longer a victim. Now she's protecting herself, and now I'm panicking. Now I'm the victim. Right. The other way that I saw as we were heading into uh, to, to see this is it almost looked like she, you guys were giving her a hug. You were, you were coming in. It was like, oh, what a cute little kind of hug. Yeah. Uh, and it was from a different direction. It was from yeah. the front. The, the idea is if, if Hannah's walking and maybe I'm trying to pick her up and i got to carry her away, she's going to look to press into my eyes again. And then it's looking down. Looking to get down as fast as she can to my ankles. Now, again, the idea is I can't peel her off. And the attacker, I mean, time is of the essence. I want to get her and I want to be gone. Now I'm panicking. and Now i got to get away from Hannah. Uh, it this is something that's being offered 10 until 11, three of your locations. Uh, you said the one in Rockland, too. You ended up going into a gym because there were that many people. Yeah, if, if you're going to the Rockland location, you're going to need to call them because uh, they had so many people sign up. I, they have to run it out of a school gymnasium. So uh, 
if you're going to Rockland, you'll need to call that location. Call that location, the 310 to 11. And I, and I have to ask you, this was a really interesting demonstration. You compete at this, but is it interesting for you to know that you have this ability that you know what to do? Um, I just like to know that if I ever run into a situation that includes a stranger and things like that, I know how to defend myself. And it takes a little bit of the fear away. You'd know what to do. Yeah. Well, it's amazing to see. Very talented. Congratulations on your success not doing this, but actually competing uh, with jiu-jitsu. It's great to have uh, Hannah here. Uh, if you have the opportunity, what we just saw is remarkable and really is a matter of life and death, I think, for, for so many people to be able to educate your children. Uh, and again, you have the three locations. One's at uh, Carling, uh, the other one's in Canada, and of course the third location in uh, Rockland. We'll do one more. Let's do really, really quick one more kind of sure. come up as we're uh, going to head into the commercial break. Things happen incredibly fast. This could really cha change uh, the lives of your children and for them to have that knowledge. Amazing. <laughs>